Oh, wait, was Chad the guy who was the stunt double for uh, Brandon Lee and The Crow? Yes, ah, and The Crow. Right, right. What's your thoughts there? I'm what? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm ADD's playing up again. Uh, <laughs> it's just, you know, the whole, the set, The Crow, was it a fake bullet? I mean, dark, like, very yeah. dark. Yeah. Uh, I think it was cursed. I felt, because I was on the set, and I felt, I felt, it felt cursed to me. Were you close and, to uh, Brandon? Did you know much? Yes, I did. Yeah. And can I tell you something? Uh, sure, another please. thing is if you look at the Joker and look at the Crow, they have the same face. Mm, interesting. Look at Heath Ledger. Yeah. Look at Brand. They became, they became their character. And mm. was the character, did the devil have something to do with their character? Did something bad? Or was it a curse? Who knows? I mean, you know, there's all these conspiracies and myths. But I'll tell you one thing. Jason Mamo is thinking about doing the Crow Two, the I next Crow, yeah. and I wouldn't play that character. Even even uh, uh, what's his name? Um, what's the actor? <coughs> Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson told Heath Ledger, "Don't become that person. Don't become that character. Don't fly too close to the sun, right?" Yeah. So so that that was it. And I I don't know. I just you look at that character, and it's like kind of a crazy character. It's crazy. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. And there was death involved. Sad, I would say one thing. I would never play that part because from from the two deaths that occurred, that would be it. You know, after Brandon died, I went to the beach. I went to, uh, I went to Catalina Island, and I was getting ready for a fight because he, his, death, his death was our first day of fight training. Chad and my first day of fight training for our first, well, for our first pro fight. And... I remember after Brandon passed, his picture was on the cover of People magazine. I got it, and I went, I went to Catalina Island for the weekend, and I said a prayer for Brandon, and I went to sleep on the beach, and he came to me in my dream and said, don't worry, Eric, I'm fine. I'm with my dad. And it was so real. I was like, holy crap, that was real.